The billion dollar project will make about 50 million gallons of drinkable water a day. It's been in a testing phase for more than a month and the technologically advanced facility has already filtered close to 2 billion gallons of water. San Diego County Water Authority's Mark Weston says it's appropriate that this plant comes online in the midst of a serious drought. The roots of this facility really date back 25 years. It was a similar multi-year drought in 1991 when we were going to be cut 31 percent of our water supply from our wholesaler, which was Metropolitan Water District. That was our wake-up call because we had no other backup water supplies. This facility will produce 7 to 10 percent of the region's water, enough for 400,000 households. And the plant will process enough water to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool every 18 minutes. The plant is pulling water through intake valves that used to serve a nearby power plant. Once the water comes into the facility, it's filtered. Organic and inorganic materials are separated. Water is pressurized and then forced through long plastic canisters that house dense reverse osmosis filters. The filters take the salt out of the water. Peter McLagan of Poseidon Water says then there is more filtering. So we percolate the water through limestone chips and increase the alkalinity and hardness. Then that water is now behind me in this tank and it goes into another tank over this wall where we add chlorine to disinfect the water. After all that, the water begins its journey toward customers. It's pumped inland to a water treatment plant where it's mixed with imported water and piped to customers. McLagan says it's rewarding to see the facility doing what it was designed to do because so many people invested so much time in the project. We're uh, so happy to see the plant now fully operational and I think it's going to change the way we look at water for decades to come in California. This will not be the obviously the last seawater desalination plant to be built in California. McLagan says up to 15 other desalination projects are under consideration in the state, including a Poseidon water project almost like this one in Huntington Beach. The drinking water will come from this ocean, but there are rough winter waves out here today, and there are also waves of controversy. Critics have asked tough questions since the idea was first proposed, and they're not done. Marco Gonzalez works with the Coast Law Group. He says the plant's opening doesn't signal an end to the debate. At the same time that we have Poseidon uh, throwing up its arms in victory, claiming to provide you know, as much as 10 percent of our regional water needs, we also have the County Water Authority going up to the State uh, Water Resources Control Board and the governor and complaining that we don't need to conserve water anymore. He's talking about a water authority request to ease the region's conservation mandate because the plant is generating water. Surfrider's Julia Chun here says water managers should be considering alternatives before they approve such an expensive water source. Desalinated water costs twice as much as imported water. Desalination may very well be a part of the equation, but it certainly should be the last tool in the toolbox, not the first. And I think the public should also understand, and when it comes to marine life impacts, that the power plant at Carlsbad was moving away from their open ocean intake because of its marine life impacts. Opponents are not happy the plant is open for business, but they take solace in the fact that if other desalination plants are built in California, they'll have to meet more rigorous standards than this facility did. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.